Assalamu alaikum, my dear viewers and uh, students. Today we are going to talk about punctuation. Uh, that plays a very important role in writing. Uh, as we've been trying to learn different aspects of language, uh, we did a reading comprehension activity and we learned how to scan a reading message. So today we are going to talk about punctuation. How do we punctuate a reading, a writing passage? And without punctuation, we cannot write the language correctly. And there are different punctuation marks. And uh, today we are going to we are not going to talk about different punctuation marks, rather we are going to talk about capitalization. When you started learning your uh, language, English, or when you started your studies uh, in class one or in prep or whatever your starting point was, you might have observed that you would have, uh, you might, uh, you would have, uh, you had been taught to capitalize different words or different letters. Capitalization means uh, you have to decide what letter you have to write in capital. You have, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, our letters of alphabet. So Capitalization is when you use capital letter or with what letter you are going to use capital letter. First point is always remember, even the small children know that whenever we write a sentence, right? Whenever we write a sentence, we will see the first word of that sentence and then the first letter of that word will be capitalized, will be written in capital letter. Like I have got example here. If you see the example, the weather of this city is pleasant. Uh, this is a sentence. We are not going to define what is sentence here. Uh, I'm sure everyone will have some idea about the sentence. We will have a uh, lecture about sentence in future. But today, right now, we are just focusing on capitalization. What letter you are going to write in capital letter. So, first point, always remember, we are starting from the scratch. Your first point is whenever you start learning writing, remember that whenever you write a sentence, first letter of the first word will always be written with capital letter. Here, the weather of this city is pleasant. If you see this, da is the first word in this example. First word of the sentence. And uh, T is the first letter of this word. So, T will be written with capital letter. If you see, there are other words too, like weather, or like city, or this, pleasant, is, of all these are words, but all of them start with small letter. So remember, I repeat that whenever you're writing a sentence, first letter of the first word will always be written with capital letter. That was our first point. Now we move to our second point. There's another thing that is called a fragment. Fragment is not a sentence. 
it is a, it can be one word it can be a phrase and it always always comes after a sentence and it is connected to the previous sentence it will give you some connection it will have some connection with it so can we buy land on the moon question is here certainly not so certainly not is the answer to can we buy land on the moon so certainly not is a fragment it can be uh, one word even and it can be a phrase but it will never be a sentence that's why we call it fragment inshallah when we do grammar we'll also learn what is fragment but till now just remember that whenever you have a fragment uh, a phrase or a word that comes after a sentence after a complete sentence and respond to that sentence you are writing something so that will be also that will also start with capital letter here certainly not so c of certainly is written with capital letter now we move to third point very common uh, information everyone knows that whenever we write the names of the days of the week we always uh, write first letter of the names of the days of the week wherever they come there is no condition that they should come in the beginning no wherever in a sentence at the end in the middle wherever you write the name of the days of the week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday whatever the name of the day is you are going to start it with capital letter see i will go to school on monday monday is the last word in this sentence but monday is the name of the day that's why we have written it with capital letter right okay now next fourth point is the names of the months of the year always remember that whenever you write the name of any month of the year wherever that word comes there wherever that name comes you have to start it with capital letter if you see this sentence muhammad ali jinnah was born in december so december is again the last word of the sentence but what we have done we have started that word first let with uh, we have started this word with capital letter d is capital in december we cannot write d with small letter here okay now uh, next point and uh, uh, this uh, lecture will be useful for every student for the student of every age if you are in class 1 class 2 class 3 and even till uh, bs students everyone can get a benefit from this lecture so for fifth point that is the names of languages we speak different languages in the world there are many languages so wherever you use the name of language you will write it with capital letter like i have given example i like speaking german so german is the name of language so i have started the word with capital g uh, there are many languages like russian urdu hindi uh, arabic english french so all these will be written with capital letter so all languages names of all languages will be written with capital letter now we move to the next point that is words that express a connection with a particular place right uh, in simple words name of a particular place is always written with capital letter that is also called proper noun right so any word that is the name of a place it will be written with with a particular place not any place like particular place it will be written with 
capital letter. So example is they are not interested in watching American movies. So American will be written with capital letter because it is referring or it is expressing a connection with America and America is a particular place. So American will be written with capital A. Now move to the next point. Words that identify nationalities. We have different nationalities. We are Pakistanis or uh, there are uh, different nationalities. There are like uh, Indians, like Americans. So here, uh, or Norway's most popular singer is Sami. So this Norway is here, it's a nationality, right? That's why it's written with capital letter. So wherever you mention a nationality, you will write capital letter. You will start with capital letter. Then uh, words that identify ethnic groups, ethnicities, right? So you will also uh, write with uh, uh, with their names with their, with capital letter like Afro Caribbeans. So A and Afro means uh, Africans and Caribbean is people from Car Caribbeans like West Indies. So A of Afro and C of Caribbean will be written with capital letter. Like uh, uh, we say in, we have uh, different ethnicities in Pakistan, like we say uh, Saraikis. So uh, Saraikis S will be capital because it presents uh, an ethnic group, right? Okay, now move to the next one. A name or a title which refers to an individual person. So name of a particular person will be written with capital letter. Like uh, uh, Noam Chomsky, I have given you example. Uh, this uh, next example is not for the, uh, for the person, right? Right, here, yeah. that was a mistake there. So a name which refers to an individual place, individual particular place, like the golden gate bridge. It is a name of a bridge, right? That is in California, I suppose. So here, see, there are four words. So remember, whenever you have a name which has more than one word, every major word, first letter will be written with capital letter. Like here, Golden's G is capital, uh, Gates G is capital and bridge B is capital because Golden Gate Bridge is the name of a particular bridge, right? Okay, next, a name which refers to an individual institution. Names of different individual institutions will also be written with capital letter. Like we have National Assembly, like we have uh, Chamber of Commerce, like we have uh, Senate, uh, different, we have provincial, uh, provincial assemblies. So these are individual institutions. So we will write their names with capital letter. I'm visiting the House of Commons. Remember here, House of Commons. So off is not written with capital letter. It is written with small letter. House H is capital and common C is capital. Always remember article A and D and preposition. If they come between a word or in a, a, a between an, a, between words as a name, part of a name, they will always be written with small letter. You will not write with capital letter, right? House of Commons, off will be written with small letter, right? When preposition comes uh, in a name. Next point is a name which refers to an individual event, right? Any event, there are different, there are different events which occur in in this world. So specific event name will be written with capital letter. Example is my friend is training for the Winter Olympics. So Winter Olympics is an event that comes after four years. So winter is W of winter and Olympics O will be written with capital letter because they are representing an individual event. Now move to the next point. 
name of distinctive historical period there are different times there are different periods like we have the middle ages the bronze ages the dark ages right so these these name refer to specific historical period so they will also be written with capital letter then name of festivals we enjoy different festivals we celebrate different festivals in the world so any the name of any uh, specific festival will be written with capital letter that like halloween we uh, we muslims don't uh, celebrate it but uh, in states they uh, they celebrate halloween right so this is the name of an event uh, or festival then a name of holidays like we have ramazan christians have easter sabbath jews have sabbath and then um, uh, even uh, hindus have different holidays right so you will write the names with capital letter then the names of religions and of their followers and the names of sa their sacred religious books like islam is a religion and islam's followers are called muslim christianity is uh, a religion and its followers are called christians hinduism is a religion and its followers are called a hindus so if you write the name of religion or if you write the name of their followers or their holy books religious books you will write their names with capital letter wherever you write muslim and will be capital hindu and will be capital christianity christian islam the quran all will be written with capital letter okay next one the name of title of a book a poem uh, remember we pronounce the word poem and unfortunately we've been taught this uh, word uh, incorrectly uh, throughout our uh, education career uh, actually this word is poem it is not poem and if you say this word poem um, most of uh, people are going to laugh at you but don't be afraid of it you are pronouncing correct word so you should be proud of that that i know the exact pronunciation of a word that people most of the people uh, mispronounce then a play a film a newspaper or a magazine examples are myths of independence is the name of book mind your language is the name of a series the news name of a newspaper the rhyme of the ancient mariner is the name of a poem and titanic obviously is the name of a movie so all these will have the names with capital letters then we have the first word of our direct narration always remember direct narration is direct indirect so you have reported speech you have reporting speech in direct narration when you have reported speech reported speech will have first letter as capital letter like here he said comma Uh, inverted commas begin i love my country full stop inverted commas close so this i love my country between inverted commas is reported speech in direct narration so you are going to start the first letter with capital letter okay now the brand names of manufacturers and their products are also written with there with the capital letter like sony walkman it is the name of a it's a brand right walkman uh, made by sony company so sony's s and walkman w will be written with capital ford escort ford was ford was company escort is uh, ford's car so f will be capital and of course e will also be capital like we have xerox we have different brands so their names will be capital then uh, now the question is where we cannot use capital letters it's very important uh, wherever you have names of names of seasons like spring like uh, uh, autumn like summer like winter these are names of seasons so you will write them with small letter before that all points which we covered were related to capitalization where to 
put a capital letter but here we are talking about where we are not going to use capital letter rather we are going to start them with small letter so seasons names flowers like rose like jasmine like daffodils like uh, tulip so it will be written with small letter unless unless it comes in the beginning of a sentence fruit mango orange banana grapes they will be written with small letter then vegetables you have cauliflower you have peas you have uh, onion you have uh, garlic other things or then sports names like hockey cricket football basketball you are going to write them with small letters birds cuckoo or uh, crow or sparrow uh, eagle they will be written with small letters crops like wheat like maize like other uh, like sugarcane cereals right you will also write cereals name with a small letter then directions north south east west as directions they will you have to go to south so it will be as direction it will be with small letter right so uh, here we finish our lecture and i hope that you will understand my lecture and it will help you enhance your knowledge and it will help you improving your writing skills thank you